chapter 2, lesson 1, would be simple addition within 10,000. So here, we need to remember the tools that we should have had in grade 2. So if you weren't able to refresh your memory about the tools, here's the most important, the pairings. 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, 5 and 5. So if this is something that's new to you, you need to make sure that before you teach it to your child, you understand it completely or else you will struggle. So these pairings will allow the kids to add simply without using the fingers. Now, they're in grade 3, which means they need to be using their fingers lesser. So the fingers are technically important for multiplication but not for addition and subtraction. So since the problems that we have in this lesson is simple addition, that means there's no regrouping. So mental math is horizontally written and computational math is vertically written. In this section, it's all computational math. The mental math comes at the end of the chapter. So if it's computational math, please refrain teaching your kids to add from left to right. They must add from the right to the left. Okay, so page 37. I have selected three problems from this lesson and it's problem number four. Here we're asked to find the sum of the numbers. So in letter A, it says 47 and 6,651. Now, be, we need to be consistent when we teach our kids. They have to write the bigger number on top and then the smaller number on the bottom. Again, this is for when they get the subtraction, they won't struggle anymore. So on top would be 6,651 and then we add 47. Since there's still no regrouping, the pairings are not as important. But when we get to the next lesson, these pairings will make very much importance to our teaching. So 7 plus 1 is 8. 5 plus 4 is 9. And then we have a 6 and a 6. So again, this is not mental. This is computational math. We got to start from the right to the left and we start with a bigger number and we add the smaller number so that it's easier for the kids' brain cells. Letter B says, find the sum of 436 and 9,210. Again, to be consistent, the bigger number is on top. And we start with a bigger number from each number, and that's 6 plus 0 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, and 9. So this lesson does not have regrouping yet. In the succeeding lessons, they will have regrouping. So finally, 1,977 and 4,012, the sum of which is... We start with a 7, add the 2, that gives us the 9. Again, start with a bigger number, 7, add the 1, gives us 8. Again, start with a bigger number, 9, add the 0. And finally, start with a bigger number, this time it's the 4 plus the 1 is 5. So parents, we need to make sure that when we teach our kids early on, that they are consistent in the way that they're solving. Because as soon as regrouping comes around, it may become a struggle. So we teach them to start with the larger number on top, the smaller number on the bottom. And when we're adding, we start with a bigger digit first and then add the smaller digit. That concludes lesson one of chapter two. See you in the next lesson.